Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Hope you are okay on that side of the screen. And today to take a look at the Hyundai IES 480 watt panel, which you can see right over here here on the screen and by the way this was the installation that we did a couple of weeks ago I don't have here on the English channel but I do have on the Portuguese channel so I'll leave a link either on the YouTube cards or right below on the description and one thing that I would like to mention is that I've got with this one four independent solar PV systems for photovoltaic generation and all of them are thought with the efficiency in mind this is a system that it's not on the roof it's not on the best position possible and it's on top of a concrete blocks with wheels so that I can play around with it so just have that in mind it's on the worst position possible but the idea is that I can share with the community things that I'm interesting to learn here on by practicing like inclination and orientations and things like that no automatization right over here I just need to move it around one person only to the position that I want so just have that in mind now let's move on to the Hyundai solar panels which is the topic that we are going to cover today I'm going to be very practical showing you results in one day production and one week production but there is one thing that it's really curious which which is the technology that this solar panel has and it's called the shinglet technology now this just means that compared to conventional solar panels like I also have right over here where the energy cells are uh, soldered one to another and we can see that in a silver color I don't know the material that they used to solve but it's any metal as we imagine and the shinglet technology doesn't use the same method what happens is that they put the energy cells closer together and together and together so they are so close that they will not need to be soldered like the other ones what happens is that they put a kind of glue which I don't remember the name right now and basically we will have less space because they are more together and we will have more power efficiency which is just awesome and I will give you a few examples right over here in just a few moments so this is the technology that caught my attention on these panels which are awesome in terms of efficiency and size now let's move on to the next uh, scenario right over here I've got six panels on my roof which is the example that we are going to share right over here but besides that I also have on my backyard right over here a system with nine panels and another system with six but we are going to use the one on the roof as an example now the area that we are talking about for six panels is three meters by three meters and 30 with a total power of 1650 using Ulica solar 275 watts panel and this was my first system I'm really happy with it great but after three years or so we have better technology and that's what we are going to check right over here now in terms of size uh, the Hyundai and I will leave a link down below for the product sheet where you have all the specifications and things that you want to read but in terms of size it is 2.05 meters in length and then uh, 1 meter and 15 in width so this is the area that each panel will give us now in my particular system I've got 2.3 meters which is two panels by 2.05 and one of the scenarios that I did right over here was of course my system is 960 watts but if I wanted to put four panels for example I would use an area uh, of 9.4 square meters and that would give me 1920 watts now if I compare this to my system it is less half a square meter and this one as less uh, 300 watts more or less than the Hyundai so we are talking about having more 0.5 square meters and less 300 watts and this is a small scale so if we scale this in a large environment then the differences will be a lot bigger of course here we are talking about only and only residential installation but having that in mind I also did another scenario right over here which is totally possible uh, and although I don't remember the measures that I've got on the roof I'm almost sure that I could replace my six panels by six Hyundai panels instead of three meters I would use 3.45 meters and instead of 3.30 I would use 4.10 meters so I'm almost really sure that I can replace and use that area now in that case I would use 14.1 square meters with 2880 
watts, which is just awesome. I also did another example, which is 18.8 .8 square meters, and it gives us a total of 3840 here with the eight panels. And of course, we can do a lot of configurations if we don't have the width or uh, the length then we could just probably use one line of panels instead of four probably five six seven depending on the space but the point that i would like to make is that in 18.8 .8 square meters we get 3840 watts and if i double this in 12 panels uh, i would get 20 square meters more or less with 3300 watts and right over here less 1.20 square meters with more 500 watts. So here it is one of the examples which the Hyundai panels are great in terms of size and efficiency. Now let's take a look at the production that I'm getting. We are in January 2022 and this is what we are getting on a daily basis. Now this is in Portuguese one day uh, panels turning to south with the inclination of 30 degrees so this is what i'm getting 4.02 by the way i'm using shelly 1 pm on each of the systems so that i can monitor all them individually and then of course i've got the shelly em on my main circuit breaker giving me the total result of the solar panel and my consumption and if you see that screen right over there i've got grafana with home assistant everything automated and <laughs> things really really cool so this is the average that we are getting right now and if i go to a week we had uh, quite a few nice days here but one really bad day but as you could see the day that i took was this one 11 of february 4 um, kilowatts but i've got days here reaching the five kilowatts so depending on the conditions that we have we will get more we will get less one of the things that i would like to mention here as well is that this is on the worst position possible the one on the roof is the first one to catch sun and the last one to stop catching the sun and the light and this one right over here is uh, it's it's exactly the opposite it is the last one to start working because it is right on the bottom of the backyard and then is the first to stop work so this is a huge difference and one of the things that we need to consider before purchasing any system is the best place possible as i said at the beginning this system i'm not worried about the total efficiency because this is something that i want to share with the community and learn myself but on the roof is my favorite place in terms of efficiency because it's it's in the line of sight and that that's just cool and you can get an idea of what we are generating with just two panels which is just awesome and this for the mere majority of people would for example be enough for the standbys it would eliminate all the standbys and then if we build a management system like i did on the Puchkis channel to send in the extra energy that we are uh, putting in then we can eat water to take showers at the end of the day with the energy that we are not consuming which is something really really awesome and basically this is it for today's video just wanted to share with you the solar panels hyundai 480 watts what they are achieving at this moment in time i will do some comparisons i will review the uh, goodwe inverter as well and the home kit from goodwe and i will share all that so this if this is a topic that you enjoy just subscribe to the channel if the video was useful in some way don't forget to leave that thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen my name is Roberto George and as always I'll see you guys on the next one